Hi there, my name is Vaughan Rivett. What I want to talk to you about today is um, what I've been doing to try to lose weight. It's been a little bit frustrating for me over the last few months or years. I've just kind of put weight on and um, kind of been a little bit depressing. Well, just a few weeks ago, I decided that it was time to get stuck in and um, be a little bit sensible about the things I'm eating, those kind of things. Now in the past, I've done things like um, um, exercise, I used to cycle for two hours a day. Um, I'd go to work an hour in the morning and an hour back. Um, but I found that basically I just maintained the same weight. So um, I did that for about 18 months, um, fairly religiously, um, even in the freezing cold, those kind of things. So anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is something that I've found which is really working well for me. In the last five or six weeks, I've actually lost around about 12 to 13 kgs. Now, in pounds, I think it's probably around about 20 pounds. Um, it hasn't been easy, I've had to be quite disciplined, but I found an application which I have running on my Android phone. And um, this application is called My Fitness Pal. Just bring it up. And what happens is it allows you to track what you're eating quite easily, and basically it's all about calorie counting. So you put in your goals and things that you want to be able to do and um, it'll um, tell you how many calories you can have for a day to lose the kind of weight that you want to lose. So I don't know if you can see it here, but um, I've got here, it shows how many calories I've got left for today, 119 calories left for my dinner, which is not a lot. Now, let me explain to you why I have 119 calories left. The reason being is I wanted to take my daughter out today for a special treat um, we've been really well behaved all week, we've eaten healthy food, so we promised ourselves that on Friday we'd go to McDonald's. So today we've been to McDonald's, and this is the good thing about calorie counting, is you can actually eat anything you like, um, however, if you eat the wrong things that are high in calories, you'll find that you won't be full and that you're going to go hungry. So it's really the key to it is finding foods that are healthy, um, that have a low GI, that are going to keep you going throughout the day and are going to keep you giving you that full feeling. Now one of the things I really like about this application, MyFitnessPal, is that um, it's easy to log my food into it. So what I do is I pick it up and here I've got a can of um, Waddy's baked beans. So what I do is I just go to my diary and I can say add, and it will ask me what I want to add it to. I'm going to say dinner in this case. And it's got a little thing where I can search for food or choose to use a barcode. So I go up to this and I scan the barcode. <coughs> and it comes back telling me what it is. And it says to me that a serving, <coughs> excuse me, is half a can. Okay, and half a can being 220 grams, I have a look and I just make sure that everything's right. Yes. It's a 420 gram can, and on my phone now, it tells me that that is 213 calories. If I'm happy with that, I can go add now. Okay, and then I have a look as well, so maybe I'm going to do baked beans on toast. So what I want to do is I want to go away and also get the, um, the, the toast bread out, and I want to scan the barcode on that to work out how many a couple, um, calories a couple of slices may be. Here I've got some um, proactive butter, and obviously I'm going to have butter on that toast. Well, maybe not, you might want to cut that out. So I click on dinner again, I go add, and I click on that barcode. On the bottom here, it has the barcode. And there it tells me now that a serving is the equivalent of 10 grams, and it's 21 calories. Now if you're wondering how much 10 grams of butter is, you know when you go out to a restaurant or a, you're, you're eating at a hotel or something, you get the little tubs of butter that they give you which is really just enough to do one maybe two slices of bread. Well that's usually around about 9 grams. I can even go and pick up the likes of um, some tomatoes here and again they've got, a, they've got a barcode on them, I can scan that. Now being that Easter has just come and gone in our house, we've got a number of Easter eggs. And the good thing about this is that um, these Easter eggs are only 78 calories. So if I, want, if I get to the end of the day and I have a few calories remaining, sometimes I might have two or 300 calories remaining, I scan the barcode on this and I add maybe two, two Easter eggs to that. So I'm not actually going without. 
Now I have here a tub of homemade um, pumpkin soup um, which I'm going to put into the microwave and going to have it for dinner. Now pumpkin soup, um, well homemade anyway, um, is very very low in calories so I can probably have about three cups worth of this um, today um, for my dinner and um, you know that'll, that'll be quite filling and that would do me. I'm not going to have toast for that, you know I've had McDonald's today so I've got to be careful. But that's what I'm using. So in the case of this there's no barcode on it but I can search on my fitness pal for pumpkin soup and choose one of the ones there or I can just search for pumpkin and the various things that I've put in to make the pumpkin soup um, and then I can add it as a, a recipe for later on so if, if I want to make some more of that um, with the same ingredients I know that I've got um, everything in there and I don't have to go adding in the various bits and pieces. And so that's been quite effective for me. So as I say, um, you know, in five or six weeks <clears throat> I've lost some, um, something like 12-13 um, kgs um, and it's really worked well for me. I'm going to show you now um, on my computer what that looks like. Okay, this is what I want to um, show you on my computer. This is my fitness pal when I log in. Now some of the things on here aren't quite um, as accurate as some of the things I've been talking about um, before we looked at this. For instance, it's got here that um, my weight loss progress is um, 9 pounds as opposed to what I was talking about before. And that's because when I first logged on to my fitness pal two years ago, um, the, the, you know, I weighed just over 9 pounds more than what I do now at that point. But I've gained a lot of weight since then. Um, also, at the beginning of the year, I was um, 118 point something kgs, and now I've gone down to, I think it's 105.5 kgs. But most of that weight loss um, has been, you know, bar two, 2 kgs has been in the last um, 5 or 6 weeks. So, what I can have a look at here is, um, this tells me what my daily summary is. I can, it's also social, so I can interact with other people. I can see that my wife's also doing this with me as well. I can go and have a look at my goals. So this says um, net calories consumed per day. <clears throat> it's reducing it as I lose weight. The calorie count comes down. So 1,480 calories and it splits that up as well into carbs, five and protein. Um, sorry, carbs, fat and protein. Um, and here you can see the normal daily activity. Um, that I would need to maintain the weight that I currently have. So that's 2,480. If I, if I ate that many, I'd maintain my weight. Um, however, my goal is to eat 1,480 calories a day. And so basically I have a deficit of 1,000 calories and um, projected weight loss is 2 pounds per week. So I can check in, I can put in what today's weight is, all those kind of things. I've already done that for today, 105.5 kgs. Um, it's a little bit confusing because parts of the side are in pounds and parts are in kgs. And, um, it does ask me what I want to use and being that I live in New Zealand, I say kgs, but it doesn't convert at all, unfortunately. So if I click on food, so you can see what I've had today. So for breakfast, I just had half a can of um, baked beans. And lunch, I had a Mighty Angus burger at McDonald's, um, and I also had medium French fries. Now, I got that as a combo, and I got it with water, because I knew if I had Coke, which is one of my favorite drinks, I'd, I'd overdo it. And then, because of that, tonight, I know that I need to just have something like pumpkin soup. And I won't be having toast with that, it'll just be straight pumpkin soup. Um, so remaining, I have 119 um, calories remaining. Um, so I may want to have a little bit of a treat and have one of those little Easter eggs I was showing you beforehand. And I can flick here through the various days as well. So you can see my breakfast yesterday I had a, I, I did a poached egg um, as well. And lunch, you can see what I had here. Um, wild pink salmon, um, you know I'm taking some tablets um, vitamin tablets to add to my vitamins, make sure I'm not missing out on missing out on anything. And um, you know, I had quite a good feed yesterday. Now you can see that it's got negative 54 remaining, as in I went over the calories yesterday, but that's not the case 
because today when I weighed in, it actually reduced my calories based on the amount of weight that I lost. I can also track how much water I'm drinking as well, and it suggests that I should be having eight glasses a day. Um, I don't really track that, but I am drinking a good amount of um, water. So if I wanted to just search for a food, I could say snacks. I could then come in here, and it will have here the most used. Um, foods that I have, and I've cut coke out now, I was drinking a lot of it, um, but I've cut that out, I can click on recent, um, my meals, so I've got here the Kimberley omelette, um, my wife makes me an omelette every now and then, so I've got recorded um, all the parts of that omelette, and I can just click on that and I can, I can add it. Um, so if I go back to here, let's search for some food, you know, if I want to go for maybe um, Big Mac and it goes and does a search for a McDonald's Big Mac and I can click on that and it asks me how many I had those kind of things that I can add it to my food diary you see McDonald's Big Mac 490 calories now one thing you need to watch for is this is a UK one so what I do is if I'm going to go somewhere like McDonald's and I'm unsure I will actually go to the McDonald's website, search for their nutritional information, and um, then make sure that I have matching calories based on what their nutritional information actually says. Um, so I'm not going to be having Big Mac today, so I'll just delete that. Now one of the things I do like about this is I can actually plan my food for the day at the beginning of the day. So I don't get to a point where I'm going to be hungry and just grab whatever's going. I can actually sit down and think about it and um, add the foods in before I even eat them. So that's quite helpful. Exercise, I can put in whatever exercise I may have done. And I have done some today. I was working hard in the garden. And so cardiovascular, um, and I've already got it here, gardening. Um, minutes, I spent about two hours. I'm going to add checked. Now that will say that I've got, uh, I think it said 851 calories. So if I go back to home, so I burned through gardening 851 calories, so now I've got more calories. But this here is the secret thing that I've worked out. You must not eat the rest of those calories. Still only eat the calories for the food um, um, that you had kind of scheduled at the beginning of the day. Don't go eating those calories that you've kind of burned off through exercise. Just consider those a bonus. Um, I think when I was doing a lot of cycling, I was having a look here and seeing, you know, about 1,200 calories a day um, th burnt through cycling, and I'd go and eat those calories again. So, um, kind of defeats the purpose. Now, reports are quite good. Um, I can have a look at things like nutritional information. So, I can view a report on the last seven days, and it will tell me the net calories consumed over those last seven days. Okay, and when you do exercise, it will bring that down as well. If I go back to reports, the reports I really usually look at on here are the progress reports. So I could say, let's have a look at the progress over the last three months, 90 days. View reports. And here is the proof of the pudding. There we go. There's my weight going down um, from here, going right down. This doesn't show all the numbers quite um, accurately. It just shows them on particular dates. Um, but around about here, I was 116.6 kgs. Now I'm 105.5, so that's 11 kgs down. So back over here somewhere, which is not shown, um, I was actually 118 kgs um, around about Christmas time. So that's the tool I'm using, and I'm finding that it's working quite well for me.